one of the most feared enforcers and tough guys in the world of professional hockey, sent fear through the souls of the players who encountered his wrath and fists on the ice. His name was Bob Probert. On July 5, 1965, Robert Allen Probert was born in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. He began his hockey career with the Brantford Alexanders of the Ontario Hockey League. He later played with the Hamilton Steelhawks and the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds before being drafted into the National Hockey League. Bob Probert was the fourth pick in the third round, or number 46 overall, in the 1983 entry draft by the Detroit Red Wings, alongside legendary players Steve Iserman and Joey Koser. Probert and Koser's aggressive style got them into so many fights and racked up so many penalty minutes, they earned the nickname the Bruise Brothers. Probert officially played as a left winger, but unofficially, he was the team's go-to enforcer and would drop his gloves in a heartbeat. In the 1986-87 season, he was third on the team in penalty minutes. He had 221 minutes in penalties and had scored only 24 points that year. Just a few of his fiercest rivals included Wendell Clark, Craig Cox, Marty McSorley, and later his old teammate Joey Koser after he was traded to the New York Rangers. The greatest season of Probert's career was the 1987-88 season. He was the league leader with 398 penalty minutes, the sixth highest season total in NHL history. He also tied for third place on the team with 62 points, played in his only All-Star game, and contributed the most points during the Red Wings' run in the playoffs that year. Legal problems began for Bob Probert in 1989, when he tried to cross the Detroit-Windsor border and got caught with 14 grams of cocaine in his underwear. He served three months in jail in Minnesota before returning to play for the Red Wings. Probert was arrested again for drinking and driving in 1994 in Michigan after hitting a car with his motorcycle, where his blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. The Red Wings did not re-sign him, but after a stint in rehab, Probert was picked up by the Chicago Blackhawks playing with them until 2002. After hanging up his skates, he became a broadcaster for Chicago's radio team, but that did not last long and he went back to rehab. Probert experienced severe chest pains and suffered a massive heart attack while boating with his family in Windsor. Doctors were unable to revive him after he was transported to the hospital and Bob Probert died at the age of 45. On April 9th in 2017, his ashes were spread in the penalty box of the Red Wings' last game at the old Joe Louis Arena in downtown Detroit.